Hi there, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. There's some things happening with your love life. Let's look at <clears throat> the primary focus card for you for the month of April. Nice, Ten of Water. This is a holistic sense of fulfillment and prosperity on all levels. So physical, emotional, mental, spiritual. This is also perhaps you're really in love and you're loved right back. And so you're in the good feels. That is a beautiful card. It's one of my favorite cards in the entire deck. That's a high vibrational card, like really positive vibrational. This is also about trust in the universe. You trust that the universe loves you and takes care of you and just lavishes you with goodness, joy, bliss, positivity, abundance, all the good stuff, which is super nice. Okay, what's going on with you and your love life? Month of April. These are the focus cards, the focus, uh, the overall, the overall energy for you in the month of April. Lovely Gemini's. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Oh my goodness, yeah, so enjoy this blissful vibration. The more you do that, the more you sink into it and savor it, the more attractive you're going to be. So you're going to be attractive for your, your partner, your opportunities, good things to happen to you, beautiful, wonderful, serendipitous things to happen to you. You just keep vibing with this in this vibration. I think one of the funniest things that I heard a tarot reader once say was, if you're in this vibration, you can't beat money off with a stick. <laughs> if you're in this happy, joyful, contented, fulfilled vibration, ooh boy, you are attractive, like really attractive. Which is really good. Really awesome. You started off with a bang, Gemini's. Very nice. Now, abundance, I'm going to pull up. So, the vibration of abundance and love are pretty much the same. Love attracts abundance. Abundance is something that pours forth from the vibration of love. Ooh-wee. No wonder why you're so... Did I just tell you that you're trusting in the universe to take good care of you and just lavish and lavish everything on you and just dote on you and love on you? Look at this. God is your source. Everything you need is supplied by the infinite source of God, and your faith opens the doorway to receive. In God, there is no lack or limitation. Rather, there is plenty of abundance for all to share. Oh my goodness. You wonderful, lovely Geminis. I can feel how attractive you are. Your vibration is pretty. Wow. It's pretty. It's like, whew, that's a nice vibration. <laughs> yeah, that trust. That trust and surrender to the universe, to source, to God, to great spirit, to take really good care of you is just super attractive. Okay, now, how can you serve? This is a question that I try to ask every day of my life because you know, every day we are serving ourselves, each other, the world, our sole purpose, the universe. So I'm going to pull one from the life purpose deck for you, which is children. So with this children card, the message that I'm getting is that a part of bathing in this beautiful energy is including all parts of yourself, in, including, I'm going to say including twice in the same sentence, your inner child. So being in tune with all aspects of yourself, your inner child, your adult self, your higher self, this holistic incorporation of all of who you are is something that will just amplify the magnitude of this vibration that's going on for you. Amazing! You got it going on. 
Actually, I think everybody's got it going on. I just, I just did Aries and Taurus, and I was just like, woo wee, people. Hey now, <laughs> we're gonna get into three cards for. Ooh, okay. So three cards for, you know, the overall gist of how things may play out for you in the month of April. So, you have this Dreamer card, which is about new beginnings, new opportunities, leaps of faith. So, going along with the theme of all this, yeah, you're taking a leap of faith. You trust in the universe to provide for you. And then you have Ten of Fire. This is... Uh, the overwhelm card oftentimes but this is also about completion and I'm seeing the moon in the background here so I'm getting a sense that the the moon in Libra helps to clear up some burdens for you so this is bringing on lightness of being for you so work with the universe and also work on releasing and surrendering the burdens and the attachments to having burdens night of air so the more that you do this, release, surrendering, uh, disengagement, dis disentangling, the faster your vibration is going to keep amplifying up and up and up and up. And also um, another thing, if things happen a little bit too quickly for you, you are always more than welcome to slow the pace down yourself, slow down and have a cup of tea, do what you need to do to take care of yourself. So that's it for you. That's your your April forecast. Gemini's. Bye.